My brother and I are so honored to be creating this piece for Sterling Heights. Um, we were amazed by what's happening in the city with uh, their dedication, the, the residents' dedication to the parks and natural resources. And so to come up with a concept, um, and especially the location inside this roundabout at Utica Dodge Park, to come up with something that represents that dedication and um, the residents' joy of, of nature, something that you can look at that's beautiful but maybe makes you think a little bit. And most importantly, you know, we grew up in Sterling Heights, we're born and bred, so uh, there is no bigger honor. To have been chosen to create a sculpture for our hometown um, was really special. Um, it was exciting. It's something that we've wanted to do for a long time. Um, you know, we have, we've been artists for a long time and to have our city choose us to create something um, within the new roundabout that is, um, is out there in front of basically the city hall and you know, the library, it's just such a beautiful area and for us to be able to create a sculpture for the center of that roundabout, it's, um, it's like a dream come true. Well, I think, I think it's great to get creativity back because creativity, it's not just a, you know, we need, the, that's a, com, a really important component. Well, it's, it's a beautiful piece of art and I'm so excited to see what they have, could create for Sterling Heights and the thoughts behind it. I love art. I, my mother was an artist, so this is something that's really special to see, and I can't wait to show it to the Sterling Heights residents. They're going to love it. I look, I look really forward to the public art program we have here. As you see behind us, we have a, a giant, it's like a leaf or a sapling. It's going to be wonderful, I think, in Dodge Park. It's going to be a, a place-making piece. We talk about place-making a lot. I think that's essential. I think it's going to be a wonderful way to kind of be a gateway to Dodge Park. Now, art can make such a difference to a community uh, because what it does is it makes you think. Um, at least that's what we believe is that you know you see something and, and you wonder what it is you know um, children all the way up to adults um, it, it, it has a way of inspiring people it has a way of making us uh, think of things uh, that are more connected that are real um, and uh, it just creative thinking is so important to every facet of life that public art and, 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 and when we find a city like Sterling Heights it's so um, supportive of public art um, it, it really shows that in the community is thinking in, 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 a, in a fantastic direction. I guess the whole spirit behind the piece is that uh, people come from all over uh, the world to Sterling Heights to, to plant roots, um, to uh, grow their seeds and um, raise a family and uh, you know settle down and enjoy the, the tranquility and the nature and um, Sterling Heights is a wonderful city and we kind of think of the nature as the backbone to the city. Um, so we wanted to make a parallel between nature and the, um, the people of the city.